Hi everyone. Welcome to the FP2 consumable tracking video tutorial. Consumable tracking is an optional module that can be added to the FP2 inventory module. The consumable module lets you designate specific items as consumable, set your current on hand amounts, set the minimum reorder reminder amount, track where and when consumables are used, and receive automatic reminders to reorder items. Any inventory item in FB2 can be designated as a consumable item by opening the inventory file and selecting the consumable option from the linking type dropdown. Flagging an item as consumable will change the inventory record, activating the consumable tabs. The consumable general tab shows the current on hand information, the minimum reorder amount, and the standard amount ordered, as well as the usual supplier for that item. The purchase tab shows the consumable purchases and includes quantity and cost. The Consume tab displays records where that consumable has been used. The Checklist, Notes, and Links tabs remain the same. After setting an item as consumable, the first step is to set your on-hand amount. On-hand amount is normally updated when adding purchase records, but when you're creating the item you can set the on-hand amount manually by going to the Action menu and selecting the Edit On-Hand Amount. Once you've selected that, you can edit the on-hand value in the record. The reorder at field lets you set the quantity at which a reminder will be prompted. Once your on-hand amount gets equal to or below this amount, FB2 will automatically create a you need to reorder a consumable reminder. The usual quantity ordered lets you set a default order amount, which is populated when you enter a purchase record for the consumable. If you commonly order the consumable from a specific supplier, you can enter that supplier in the usual supplier dropdown. Editing this list will open the Rolodex section of FB2. Remember that only Rolodex entries with the supplier checkbox ticked will be displayed on this list. Once the consumable record has been set up, you can track it using the Inventory Use tab of the Incident, Daily Log, and Training Record. To create an inventory usage record, go to the Inventory Use tab of the main record, create a new file, and select the consumable used. You can record the quantity that was used over the course of the incident or event, save the record, and when we flip back to the original inventory item, we can see that the on-hand amount has been updated. Once the on-hand amount drops below the reorder at amount, we will be prompted with a reminder to show that we need to reorder that specific item. When you reorder a consumable item, you open the item itself, go to the Purchase tab, and create a new file. The Purchase tab will allow you to record how many of each item you ordered for each particular uh, purchase and where you ordered it from. If you have the full Purchase Request module, the Purchase Request window will come up. Otherwise, you will receive a cut-down version of the Purchase Request. Adding a Purchase Request record will update the on-hand amount. If that moves above the reorder at value, then the reminder will be cleared. There's a few other things to consider when you're working with consumable tracking. The first is that you may want to set up a consumable category to make identifying consumable items easier. The second is that consumable items don't have a specific quantity type, like pails or packages, the quantity represents units, uh, which can represent whatever makes the most sense for that type of item. Sometimes you can add that information to the code or item name field. The consumable tracking module is currently available from Genius Software. Please contact us if you'd like to see the module or if you have any other questions.